racism isn't quite what everybody thinks it is, I guess. Like, as a word, and as a movement, and as an idea, not everybody thinks it means the same thing when you say racism. So when I get a question like, hey, Pastor Fisk, what's the history of Lutherans and racism? It's like, well, which one? And I mean it on every term there. Which Lutherans? Because there's lots of different ones. If you're going to just say that anybody who puts it on a placard outside their walls is a Lutheran, you got all sorts of stuff going on there all over the world and in history and time, right? So you got that going on. What does that mean? Which ones? And in that, I would say this certainly there has been a history of what prejudice, power, violence, often tribally motivated, just as in every other civilization ever, <laughs> and still is right now if you're watching. Right? They ha- racism, screaming it, hasn't stopped it. It's actually being it and doing it at this point. That's my virtue signal right there. Who was it? I, I, I didn't have time this week to do what I did last week, but I can tell you. Now, maybe it's doctored. Here's the thing. How can I know? Who can I trust? I saw on Twitter this morning a retweet of somebody who had tweeted a retweet of a video of Joe Biden claiming that the death of George Floyd is more important than the death of Martin Luther King Jr. Now, part of me is like, that's doctored. Gotta be. Wag the dog, man. But then part of me is like, dear heavens, do they, how, my friends in the communities that call me white in America, (laughs) how can you listen to that man when he says things like that? Do you know where you have come from, what you have gained as a people? And what MLK did for you. I have a dream. That little white boys and little black girls will walk down the street together holding hands and no one will blink an eye. I have that dream because Martin Luther King Jr., even though history has shown apparently has some really dark sides to his private life. Whatever. I don't care. He helped us see. Helped me see what the Bible's taught all along which is that there is one man, Adam, and we are all of him until we are in the one second man, Jesus. And this goes no matter what your ethnicity happens to be. 